right, so today I wanna to talk about how to build up your fasting muscle. I know how to do this all too well because on my weight loss journey, I used a combination of different fasts, um, mainly used one meal a day, which is fasting for 20 to 24 hours a day. I've done prolonged fasts. I've done three day water fasts. I've done egg fasts, but that's a different kind of fast. It's a fast with food. We're gonna focus on water fasting. I've done dry fasts. I did an alternate day dry fast for a week that got me to my lowest weight right here and helped me make this transformation. So how to build up your fasting muscle. These are the things you want to focus on and have. Number one, download a fasting app. I highly recommend the fasting app Zero. Why? Because it's the app I use. I like the layout. It's the apps other fasters use as well. You want to download a fasting app. Two, you want to be able to keep track of your fast. So you're going to be doing that through the apps. And you want to be able to plan your fast as well. So if you want to work your way up, let's say to your first 24 hour fast, I highly recommend starting off with a 16 hour fast for a couple times a week. Now this is like a straight up beginner. Maybe throw in a 16 hour fast three times a week minimum. Do that, repeat it the next week and add an extra day and do it four times a week. And if you're feeling good, do it for a full week. Once you get to that full week, add in an extra hour of fasting. So go from 16 to 17 and you do this for the full week. You don't do it three times a week. So fast for 17 hours weekly. And then you incrementally keep doing that until you work your way to 24 hours of fasting. Now here are some tips to help you fast. You want to have certain things that will help keep your hunger at bay. At first, I'm not going to lie to you, when you first start fasting, it's going to be difficult. But the more you fast, the easier it gets. So the more you flex that fasting muscle, the easier it gets. It's just like any muscle. So your first 24 hour fast, it's going to be brutal. But once you get through your first one, the next one will be easier. And then you're going to be able to jump into a 36 hour fast. So be cognizant of that. Now, things that will make fasting hard is based on your entire system. Now, if you are overweight and you are dealing with food addiction, sugar addiction, it's going to be hard at first. So people who struggle with 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 framing from food, so who aren't able to stop eating for a long period of time, they are struggling with high glucose levels and they're struggling with insulin resistance. We want to break that insulin resistance down and you do that through fasting and eliminating junk food, eliminating refined carbohydrates and processed carbs. You want to start substituting those breads, those pastas, and those cereals, unless it's like pastas like monk bean pasta or edamame pasta or chickpea pasta. Like those pastas are fine because they're made from legumes, which are high in fiber. Fiber is key. But any of like the wheat pastas, just get rid of them and start substituting them for healthier choices. Why? Because that's going to help manage your insulin levels and your cortisol levels as well. Because when you eat processed food, it spikes your cortisol levels. When your cortisol levels get spiked, it makes you more insulin resistant. So the key to weight loss here is not making yourself insulin resistant because when you're insulin resistant and you have insulin and glucose present, you're not going to be able to switch from a sugar burner, which is burning the food you eat to a fat burner. You need to bring those insulin levels low. So you want to be able to do that through diet. So when it comes to building your fasting muscle, what you eat in the kitchen really matters. It's really hard to fast after eating a bunch of sugar and junk food because your your levels are all black. So it's important when you're practicing building that fasting muscle, you are also practicing eating foods that will help bring your hormones down. And when I say your hormones down, your your hormones that are involved in weight gain, so insulin, bringing those levels down. So you want to be eating foods that are high in fiber. You want to be reducing or eliminating. If I were you, I'd just eliminate it. Maybe slowly, incrementally eliminate refined 
and processed carbohydrates. You want to be eating things more like more protein. You want to be eating things, protein from whole sources. You don't want to just be eating protein bars. Like, no, 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 no. You want to be eating meats, chicken, poultry, fat, like vegetables too, because vegetables are high in fiber. You want to be eating more whole foods. So that's key to building that fasting muscle. And you want to be eating nature's carbs, things like sweet potatoes, things like vegetables, peas, quinoa is a good one. And you kind of want to avoid the starches because the starches can make things difficult. So starches are things like white potatoes, so regular potatoes and rice. So that's important to note that when you're trying to build that fasting muscle. Another thing that I want to mention is that you want to have things like teas. Right now I'm having a yerbe mate tea. When you fast, this is a tea that helps to, supp to suppress appetite which is very beneficial when you're first starting the fast. Again, the more you fast, your appetite just suppresses naturally. Like me, I'm almost like a good 20 hours into my fast and I just worked, I worked out like a few hours ago at the gym and I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Um, you want to have sparkling water. You don't want to have anything with calories at all. This has like four calories, but this tea does not mess up your fasting. It has, it actually has weight loss effects. Um, you want to have things like apple cider vinegar, make sure it has no sugar. That's going to help crush your hunger. Cinnamon tea, but my favorite is probably sparkling water. And I want some right now and I don't have any, but it's okay. So sparkling water, um, things like that to help bring your hunger down. Oh, and of course, electrolytes. I'm currently having Element, but throughout my weight loss journey, with this transformation, I basically used um, my own electrolytes. I just got some potassium salt. Just go to the store, look for salt that says potassium chloride. That's your potassium. Some sodium salt. Best sources are Himalayan pink salt or high quality salt. And I would add in some magnesium. I would use Calm, which is like a magnesium powder. And I would just make my electrolytes with a hot cup of water. So hot water is gonna help also crush your appetite. Well, anyway, I hope this was useful for you, for anyone who is a fasting beginner. Keep at it. Keep practicing. Again, the more you fast, the more you build that fasting muscle, the easier it gets. Um, make sure you're taking your actual electrolytes early in the morning because that's going to help suppress your appetite. And make sure you're eating foods that are not spiking your glucose levels because the dumbest thing you can do while fasting or breaking a fast is to go and eat like a chocolate bar or something that will just undo all of the levels of fasting that you just did. I think that makes no sense and it will just lead you to weight gain. So you want to eat whole yummy foods. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of whole yummy healthy food emojis and I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.